Although the two rappers lived thousands of miles from each other on opposite sides of the North American continent, Drake and XXXTentacion actually have a fairly deep-rooted history that leaves open potential cause for Drake's involvement in the demise of the South Florida underground king, including lyrics within releases after X's passing that do in fact reference some of the very same details from the tragic event. And because of the sheer number of suspicious connections to the case, among some very strong statements from X himself, Drake has been ordered by the court's defense to appear in trial for deposition or in other words, to explain the truth behind all of the so-called coincidences. Will Drake walk away unscathed from the harsh accusations, or were the controversial fans right all along? While he hinted at his involvement just enough to take credit without the courts being able to prosecute him, let's find out how valid these claims really are. Just say Dwayne Onfroy more commonly known by his artist name, XXX Tentacion's rise to fame was a roller coaster of highs and lows, ranging from the obvious disastrous end to being one of the most streamed artists ever, meanwhile not even being here physically to promote his music. But his life and career weren't always this way. For X's first big hit single that helped launch him to the level he is today, Look At Me, was actually released in 2015 years before he really gained any mainstream traction, although his SoundCloud numbers were slowly rising and cultivating a cult-like fan base. Throughout the next couple of years, X would be in and out of jail for various reasons, but the most significant in regards to the Drake deposition occurred in October of 2016, in which he was charged with aggravated battery of a pregnant woman, domestic battery by strangulation, false imprisonment, and witness tampering. X pled not guilty. However, he was still detained by Broward County Jail for violating his house arrest agreement from prior charges. The domestic abuse charges were originally scheduled for May the next year. But during his time in jail, at least this time, Look At Me began to lift to new heights. All because the Six God himself previews a new upcoming track at a show in Amsterdam from his More Life playlist to release later that year in 2017 titled KMT featuring UK rapper Giggs. Soon after, fans and media outlets alike accused Drake of stealing X's flow and cadence without proper credit or at least some sort of recognition to the South Florida rapper, being that his platform could really spotlight new talent that he was potentially influenced by. A reputation that has cursed Drake by previous actions such as the Meek Mill ghostwriting feud, to general utilization of accents and terminology from other cultures such as Jamaica and Afrobeat alike. However, in an exclusive OVO Sound interview, Drake denied even knowing anything about artist XXXTentacion prior to fans calling him out, and therefore did not steal his flow, at least purposely. Although he did admit that cadences were very similar and could see why X and his fan base drew the connection. The other day, you know, I dropped the song with Giggs mm. and I'm seeing all this on my on my IG mm. under like some random picture of people being like, ah, oh, you took this kid's flow or whatever. Right. So I'm just like, yo, yeah. what's happening to me right now? You yeah. know, so I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm trying to read, like figure mm. out who they're talking about. I find out who they're talking about. I just the extension guy. I, yeah, I, I don't even think that's how you say his name. I, I, but, but yeah, that's I, I, I tried to practice. They call him X. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So anyway, I go and I find what song they're talking about, you know? And I, and, you know, and I, and I listen to it. I'm like, okay, I, I see where mm. people could draw like this comparison mm. off of like mm. the first two lines, whether it be the cadence or the rhyme pattern mm. or whatever, you know? And I just like, I'm just like, yo, it, it's crazy that people think that after all this time, after all I've been through, that I'm the type of person to go Pre some 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 song that's on sound. Shortly after, feeling insulted, X publicly throws shade at Drake on Twitter with a few strong remarks. I'm not gonna say no names, but it's funny how one of my niggas hit me up saying Drake watched you interview and fucks with you. Now this pussy nigga trying to play it safe and play it innocent, but it's cool. We all know Hotline Bling was a bite of cha cha. I'm not the first nigga he bit, nor will I be the last. Drake a pussy nigga. Money don't buy you respect. Drake's career is almost over. He better start investing money into real estate because once it's all over, he really going to see the fake love. I'm not going to Twitter rap with niggas for stealing my flow. I slap niggas. Don't come to Florida. One last thing. It's funny how the industry let this pussy nigga sit at the top for so long, 
All y'all suck, kill yourselves. Me done, chat. Obviously, X did not take Drake's denial too lightly. A month passes, and X is released from jail on bond. And in his own words, what better way to capitalize off a of public beef with arguably the largest and most successful rapper in the world than to hop on an interview with 103.5 The Beat to finally express his true thoughts on the situation. What's the situation between you and Drake? Do you guys have beef? Are you guys cool? Like, what, what's the situation? <laughs> All right, so look, um... The nigga hit up, I'm, I'm like, like, I ain't even on that snitch and that shit. Keep a blood raw. Keep a blood raw. I, I got to, cause like, I don't want nobody coming at me crazy. You feel me? Like, like, like I saw this, bro. You feel me? Like, I wasn't, like, I wasn't wrong. Bro, I hit up a DJ that I fucked with. Who did? Drake. Okay. Drake hit up a DJ that I fucked with. You feel me? And, and bro told me, um, he was like, yo, the nigga Drake watched your interview. He said he fucked with you and he fucked with your partner Ski Mask. He's like, yo. He's saying he go call your manager within the next few days. Okay. So I'm, I'm, bro, I'm amped up. Nigga, I fuck with Drake. Yeah. You feel me? Drake a genius. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, d despite, despite me disrespecting him as a man, because I can't respect him as a man, I respect that nigga career. That's yeah. a goat. Okay. That's a goat. So you know how to differentiate yeah. the two? I know. I, uh, corporately, that nigga is the goat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I knew what I was doing when I said what I said, and I knew how to approach him, because I know where he can't beat me at. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So initially, he was supposed to contact one of my managers. So he doesn't do it. That same fucking week, bro. For a year following the rather heated discourse, the hatchet between the two rappers had yet to be buried with X continuing to troll Drake by using his face as profile pictures among other harmless games. However, the feud seemed to have intensified early 2018, around the time that Drake released one of his biggest hit singles, God's Plan, in that X claimed that yet again, Drake copied his actions, more specifically, the hashtag helping hand challenge. By giving away money, groceries, and garments to families in need in the city of none other than Miami, Florida, an adjacent community to X's home county of Broward. Additionally, X felt even more betrayed upon finding out one of his best friends within the industry, Trippy Red, intended to feature on the release. Although, apparently the whole reason the song was forced to release at the time without Trippy's verse was because his DJ allegedly accidentally leaked the song by playing at the club one night. Regardless of the end result though, X and Trippy also gained a rift within their relationship due to Trippy not taking his side in the beef, likely to get the Drake feature or collaboration for the betterment of his career. One month later, X posted a series of questionable posts on social media directed at Drake such as a picture of what looked like to be a Drake lookalike performing fellatio on another man, as well as a rather eerie statement on his Instagram story claiming that if anyone tries to kill him, it was Drake. Fans assumed, at least at this point in the time, that it was a joke that Drake may want to take his revenge after the monumentally embarrassing lookalike picture surfaced. X deletes the post soon after and claims he was hacked. Although yet again, this could have been just another one of the lighthearted rapper's antics. Or perhaps not. June 18th, 2018. The music world was shattered by the sudden and violent passing of rapper XXX Tentacion. Although he had predicted his demise several times to his fans on various live streams. The young artist prodigy was only 20 years old when his life was tragically taken away by an armed robbery after his Louis Vuitton bag with $50,000 cash contained within. The news of his death left fans in disbelief, causing many to explore the potential reasons as to why someone would be motivated to end such an influential figure trying to create positive change in his own but others' lives as well. One of the possibilities aimed at Drake. Obviously due to the coincidental, explicit diction by XXXTentacion on his Instagram story only a few months before his passing that we addressed earlier. But the conspiracies were only strengthened by Drake's recent album Scorpion that released only 11 days after X's death on June 29th of 2018. The album included a track titled I'm Upset that significantly rose suspicions of the Toronto rapper due to a set of lyrics that fans believe blatantly referenced X's name. SMS, triple X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the neck. Why you keep on shooting if you know that nigga dead? Of course, the entire album was likely submitted weeks or even months in advance from its official release date. However, perhaps it was all planned. Or Drake simply changed a few lyrics to align with a potential hit 
as is common practice in the music industry for such influential artists. For after all, X was shot in the neck as Drake's own words foretold. Not to mention, another track on the album titled Mob Ties characterized even more specific details of the day X's life was taken. Whereby yet again, X happened to have sported a Louis Vuitton bag on the day he was robbed and murdered, as the lyrics said. Four years or so passed without much mention of Drake's potential involvement. Although whispers linger in the shadows of the industry, for Drake had never really shut down the accusations to clear his name. Perhaps he didn't want to draw attention to the claims to not feed the headlines, whereby certain focus groups could draw even more connections out of thin air based on specific words that he may say. Or, given that Drake was never in the sights of the criminal investigations, at least publicly, maybe he enjoyed the reputation, whether it was on purpose or not, warding off any opposition who may try him with the possibility of what Drake and his team are capable of, while remaining scot-free from the law, of course at least for the time being. From Drake's most recent release, Her Loss, a project in collaboration with 21 Savage, speculation once again was able to catch footing. And that one final time, at least so far, fans were able to connect dots from certain bars to X's murder, such as on the track on BS, when he rapped, If he held his tongue on that live, he'd be alive again, damn. Although, Perhaps the timing of laying down these exact lyrics was not the best, for it only allowed a stronger case against the Six God. As the tirelessly extended and highly publicized murder trial of XXX Tentacion continues into early 2023, with a seemingly closed case of four defendants sourced by surveillance footage at the motorcycle dealership where the crime transpired, links with social media posts and informant cooperation, Drake was surprisingly served a subpoena to offer deposition, essentially a sworn statement under oath to confirm, deny, and or provide evidence regarding the possibility of his involvement in the crime to be held over a Zoom call. The court order stated, If deponent Aubrey Drake Graham does not appear to deposition, he must appear before this court on Monday, February 27, 2023 at 10 a.m. EST, so the court can determine why he should not be held in contempt of which Drake failed to attend, and therefore was summoned to appear at the court in South Florida. And given the breadth of potential evidence described earlier, in addition to his reluctance to explain his side of the story, the defense may have a fair case against him to lighten up the charges for himself. For all the defendants are attempting to do is create as much reasonable doubt as possible for the judge and jury to not convict them of the life sentences they face. Although one thing stands in their way, one of the defendants, namely Robert Allen, has already pled guilty to second degree murder and has been cooperating with the court, likely to lessen his own sentencing. Reportedly due to the fact that his cut of the $50,000 total stolen was only $5,000, whereas the rest were each given $15,000, indicating that if a group of individuals commit crimes together, never to short one because it may come back to bite you. Drake, on the other hand, should thank him for clearing his name in the process of telling nothing but the truth in court of law. For the other defendants were attempting to capitalize off the speculation of Drake's involvement due to X's mysterious Instagram story in correlation with Drake's bars from various tracks, arguing that they were hired under the table to execute X to finally end the tension that has been built throughout their careers. Unfortunately, Robert Allen's testimony shut down all narratives against Drake. So your testimony to this court and to this jury is that you were never on the set of the God's Plan video filmed in Miami in 2018. Is that what you're saying? Yes. How much money in 2018 did you receive from either Drake or one of Drake's associates? I never met him. You never met him? No. Do you know who he, you know who he is, though, right? Yes. Okay. But actually, in 2018, when this crime occurred, you didn't know who X was? No. Okay, so in 2018, you're from Broward County, correct? Yes. You listen to rap music, correct? Yes. And you're telling this jury that you didn't know who literally the, probably the most famous rapper to ever come out of Broward County was in 2018, in June of 2018. That's your testimony? Yes. You had no idea who he was? 
Gauging by the particular questions within the defense's examination of Robert Allen, the other defendants are attempting to prove that they met Drake at the God's Plan music video shoot. Mind you, that was filmed in Miami, in the broader South Florida region, as well as a strong point of contention between the two rappers, if you recall, and therefore increase the likelihood that they struck a deal with the Six God to take out X. However, as aforementioned, Robert Allen denied ever meeting Drake in person once, nor him or his fellow defendants even being at the God's Plan music video set. And lastly, that he did not even know who XXXTentacion was prior to the robbery, in turn, discrediting further that it was a planned operation orchestrated by Drake. Following such information being communicated in the court, Drake's legal team filed a motion to quash the order requiring him to attend for deposition as they believe it was a waste of time, money, and energy, and quite frankly, an ill-found attempt to circumvent their own crimes. Now, considering the new information presented by one of the defendants themselves, the lyrics may not have meant what X fans believed them to all along. Not to mention other relevant details that explain other interpretations, such as in I'm Upset, which at first listen does in fact sound like a reference to XXX Tentacion, known as X or Triple X in some cases. However, given the context of the acronym before his hypothetical name, in alignment with the next line, Drake could have very well been describing how when he sends explicit photos, or triple X, over text messages, he does not include his face. Which makes sense, since he is, well, of course, one of the most famous men on this planet, and therefore such a picture to another would be foolish, as they would likely sell the private pictures for an exorbitant amount of money to any tabloid. Although. I cannot excuse the bar immediately following as it's pretty clear what Drake was trying to convey. However, it's not uncommon for rappers to include lyrics about death or hypothetical hit operations to intimidate foes and or for fans entertainment of the portrayed rapper gangster lifestyle. As for mob ties on the same album, I do actually believe it could be a possibility that Drake referenced details from X's murder, considering the Louis Vuitton bag X was holding while being robbed. Nonetheless. Just because Drake alluded to a significant recent event does not mean he was claiming credit or shedding any negative connotation towards the fallen rapper. The bar could have also likely been general imagery within rap lyrics, simply a coincidence of shared characteristics as the song was probably submitted to the label weeks or even months prior to the event even taking place. In my opinion, the collaboration with 21 Savage shares the least connection to X's death and that there is not a specific XXX Tentacion live that Drake was particularly offended by, at least to my knowledge. But of course, there is always room for speculation given that we do not know the full story, nor will we ever in all likelihood. Fellow rapper Ski Mask the Slump God, notoriously known as XXX Tentacion's best friend throughout his career, did not seem to be suspicious of Drake. For less than a month after X's passing, he posted a black and white photo with him. Not to mention, more recently, Ski Mask commented on the leaked footage of Robert Allen's testimony on social media, asking everyone to quit pushing the narrative that Drake was at all involved. After all, something we must question is what would Drake's motivation be exactly in ordering a hit on XXX Tentacion? He has had many other more serious feuds with other more famous rappers and artists, at least when the beefs transpired and no violent ending in suit. We must also analyze the logical risks versus rewards of such an order. The current trial sentence is trying the defendants for life in prison, which is probably one of the highest risks you could take on this planet. The reward on the other hand, is knock out some of your upcoming competition. Drake is currently the highest streamed hip hop artist in the world and has been for about a decade. I highly doubt he would go to the lengths of murder to maintain this spot. But hey, this wouldn't be the most outlandish occurrence in the music industry, so still entirely possible. For fans and artists alike, we're already starting to compare X to the likes of the greats, such as Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick, who worked their way up for decades to earn their spot as the top three rappers of this era by public metrics. 
In fact, X is ranked number four at the time of this recording for most songs with over a billion streams on Spotify and currently holds the most streamed hip hop album on the same platform. With such a rapid rise, there's no telling what was going through Drake's mind. X was definitely a force to be reckoned with, a soul taken too early, but has since still spread a message far beyond his lifetime. So what do you think? Was Drake at all involved in X's murder? Or was all the evidence simply just coincidence?